found yesterday's Kurt Eichenwald's article in Newsweek. Really frightening. I ask consent that that writing be submitted in the record. Without objection. <clears throat> the piece is very, very thorough. But I'm only going to quote a few things because of the time of the Senate. One, the article says that if elected, Donald Trump would be, and I quote, the most conflicted president in American history. And almost every foreign policy decision he would make will raise serious conflicts of interest and ethical quagmires. The author details how Donald Trump, his family, and his businesses have multiple questionable partnerships with foreign governments, political parties, and even criminals. Newsweek article ends with this sound declaration, and I quote, never before has an American candidate for president had so many financial ties with American allies and American enemies. And never before has a business posed such a threat to the United States. Close quote. We face from Donald Trump a candidate and a notorious con artist. Donald Trump is only trying to help one person, Donald Trump. I don't care if he wants to be president or city commissioner. Donald Trump is in to benefit Donald Trump. If given the opportunity, Donald Trump will turn America into a big scam, just like Trump University. Mr. President, I can't make up this stuff. Uh, here's what one of his managers said <clears throat> at Trump University, <clears throat> head of sales, quote, here's what he said it was a fraudulent scheme, and that it preyed upon the elderly and uneducated to separate them from their money. That's somebody, one of the managers of Trump University. That's a direct quote. But Trump University is only one. Trump has been ripping off people for a long, long time, long before Trump University. The list of people cheated by Donald Trump is a mile long, at least. Glass Company. New Jersey, a children's singing group, real estate brokers, plural, plumbers, painters, dishwashers, and many, many more. They all got fleeced by this so-called billionaire Trump. And when Trump gets sued for not paying, here's what he does. He hires lawyers, lots of lawyers most of the time, to defend him from having cheats, from, from having cheated lots of people. And then guess what? Many times he doesn't bother paying those lawyers. They have to sue him. He rips off people only to reap profit for himself. Now, a lot of his business I don't understand very well, but I understand Atlantic City. I was the chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission for four very tumultuous years. I was there when we allowed uh, Nevada operations to go to Atlantic City. So I understand what took place in Atlantic City. He'll do anything to make a buck for himself. <clears throat> if Donald Trump, he applied for a license a number of years ago in Nevada and was a passive owner, he got one. It was just perfunctory. If he applied for a license day after what he did in Atlantic City and what he's done since, he couldn't get a gaming license in Nevada. Let's be clear about Donald Trump. He's a spoiled brat raised in plenty who inherited a fortune, used his money to make more money, and he did a lot of it by swindling working men and women. Why would he change as president? The answer is simple. Trump won't change. He's asking us to let him get rich, scamming America. Mr. President, I know these are harsh words, but look at this man. He goes to Flint, Michigan, where people are desperate for help. Desperate for help. He goes to an African-American church. And what does he do? He just starts ranting, ranting about how horrible Hillary Clinton is. It was so bad that the woman that runs the church had to come up and say, stop, you're not here to do this. And he stopped. And this morning he said there was a, she obviously was something wrong with her mentally. Uh, Trump is a human leech who will bleed the country and sit at his golf resort laughing at the money he has made, even though working people have been Many have been hurt and ruined. Trump doesn't understand the middle class. How could he? How, does he? how could he understand working people? Because he's only out for Donald Trump. 
This report from Newsweek proves Trump's plans to take his rigged game straight to the White House. The integrity and security of our democracy is really at stake. We can't chance the sovereignty of this nation on a con man like Trump. Where is Senator McConnell and Speaker Ryan when America needs their help from this person running for president?